ART was born out of the orthopedic research lab. We started doing a lot of basic science research in stem cells two or three years before ART was born. We got about six months down the road and we were seeing some success that we hadn't realized with surgery alone, especially when it came to horses that had meniscal tears. ART was actually born out of a need to get that caseload out of the research lab and into a place where it had a chance to grow. What Dr. Frisbee and Dr. Kissaday did, coming from a research background, they targeted specific applications that they thought that the stem cells would be effective in treating in horses. Some people definitely view it as a magic pill, a cure-all, and it's, it's not that, but when you use it correctly, it's very effective. It took nearly four years to figure out the proper techniques in order to grow the highest quality cell. When we send out a treatment, in our opinion, we're sending the very best quality cell that, that we could come up with. We came up with the, the name ART and we wanted to be the art um, in the science and that really is our goal. Our mission statement is to bring the best biologic medicine, as we're really calling it now, to the veterinarians. We have quite a bit of experience with the yeah, bone marrow stem cell cultures. Yeah. Myself going back through the academic yeah. research, yeah. Kristen working with the human cells before starting up arts operation, and Brittany, who does an outstanding job in the lab, is also a horse person. Yeah, that's my favorite part. We get calls back from our vets, or sometimes the owners, and they say, yeah, horses back to work, they're competing at a high level, everyone couldn't be happier. The opportunity to hear, or to know that you've done something that's, that's helping a living animal is, is, is really thrilling and a rare opportunity for basic science or laboratory uh, workers such as us. When we want to grow the best possible cell for every case, we think about giving that horse the best chance of healing. Most times you see a type of cell culture lab, it's research for an endpoint of some sort of commercial product, but it, the fact that when we finish it and within a couple of days it's going out and seeing a patient is, is very unique. We had some really good research. We didn't want it to get shelved in academia. And we were in a really unique situation where we had the basic scientists and we had the clinicians, myself and all of the other people at the ORC, plus all of the people nationwide that believed in it. It is the great American story. Our hope is we want to take it to the next level and continue to do the cutting edge research in a much broader sense with more people and have the ability to translate it into not only the veterinary space, but the human space as well.